Check it out, folks. This is Dr. J from the Health Institute, and I am super honored to be on Better Black featuring the Health Institute. The Health Institute is a multidisciplinary approach to managing healthcare. So we got a wide variety of healthcare services to make sure that every individual that comes into the space is able to access different disciplines to get them into the best shape uh, of their lives. I've always been someone who is interested in physical activity for myself. Um, I've always played sports, obviously, and from my own personal passion in physical activity, I decided to study physical education and health at U of T, and I've gotten the privilege of being a part of this amazing program that U of T offered that exposed students of Aboriginal, Black, West Indian, African descent to different types of healthcare fields. And it was at that experience that I was able to find out what a chiropractor was. And honestly, it really fit with my own personal beliefs of using the body to heal itself through exercise, stress-free, uh, eating habits, all that good stuff. And it just geared everything towards that after uh, being exposed to it. Obviously, like I said, university degree was in kin, physiology. Then I went to chiropractic school. I had to work for other practitioners. And what I thought about when I did that was it was just field work. Like I, I just wanted to take some good things from what they did and I wanted to avoid some bad things. Um, and to be honest with you, I was at this one space and I was enjoying myself there. And I was I decided to start working a lot with youth. And this clinic was in a, part, a ritzy part of town. It was in New Yorkville. And the rate for the fees was, was pretty expensive. So some of these parents obviously couldn't afford those fees. And I negotiated with the ownership to say, hey, get, let's give them a $20 discount. And they, they liked it. So I was doing good work in the community. Started doing some stuff outside of the clinic. And I don't even recall exactly who it was, but someone wrote me up in blog TO that saying that I was one of the best trainers in the, in the city. And it got back to the owners. And when they saw it, they are like, yo, where, where's our name? How come our name's not here? It's only you. And I said, well, this client isn't from here. And they were cheesed. So the first thing they did was they cut me giving the $20 discount and they just started not treating me well, not giving me new patients and stuff like that. So I started saying, you know what, this is the time that I need to just start pulling away. And I basically bought a caravan um, and I started treating on my bed. So I was basically driving around the city to one of different places and that was the, the beginning of it. Um, and meanwhile, I was in chiropractic school, I really had a vision that the clinic that I would own, that I would be a part of, would have doctors that all look like myself. I would really try to target that area of, of the population as well. My whole goal is to make sure that, and it doesn't necessarily need to be chiropractic, I just want to try to encourage as many young black people, people of, of ethnicity, to look into the field of healthcare because there's not a lot of us. And we need to be able to speak to our people one-to-one, -one, understand where they're coming from. And that's the only way that it can happen is by increasing representation. There's Dr. Cassandra, she's a chiropractor. There's Armand, he's a physiotherapist. There's Kelvin, he's also a physio. There's Dr. Chris, he's a chiropractor. There's Dr. Candice, she's a naturopathic doctor. There's Augustine, he's a cognitive behavioral therapist. Attila, he's a health coach, strength coach, specializing in mixed martial arts, kettlebell training. There's Andrew, who is a mobile a mobility coach. He does FST, cupping. There's Matthias, he's also a health coach. He specializes in boxing, MMA training, uh, soft tissue modalities as well. There's Franklin, he's a yoga, breathing uh, technique uh, specialist. There's Habiba, who's front desk. And then there's Tamiya, who's also front desk. I firmly believe that my team, my organization, my vision has always been about promoting black history awareness. Just for the fact of the matter, like I said, that everything in terms of their decision making, our abilities, has been geared towards empowering black professionals. So that's definitely something that's been a striving piece for me. Like I've always wanted to put a positive image of us doing great things. Because if you look at anywhere else, it's always negative stuff. It's always the typical stuff. But there's just so much more things that our community is great at, but we just don't get the showcase because we, they just want to try and keep us in a certain look, in a, in a certain box, and not about that life. Because at the end of the day, um, you want to know that you help people. And I, I didn't get into this profession to be a millionaire because it's not going to happen. There's only so many of people that you can see in a day. Money doesn't really drive this business. It's, like I said, the vision is to try and get as many people as healthy as possible. 
and the only way that's going to happen is by taking an honest approach to individuals. We really don't cookie cutter any approach. We really want you to be as healthy as possible. We want to empower you to take care of your health. And we're not going to bullshit you. We're going to tell you straight goods. So you're doing a great job with regards to your health or you're not. So seeing people actually appreciate our straightforward, blunt approach is, is great. And we're not gonna change who we are. If something happens and you're like, oh, scrambling, trying to figure out, that's reactive healthcare. What we really offer here at THI is, is preventative. We want you to get as strong as possible. We want you to eat as healthy as possible. We want you to hydrate your body. We want you to get as much sleep before something happens. Then you're like, oh, now I gotta start doing this. Uh, so that's really uh, the story, the journey, the, 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 the focus has always been that. Try to get as many people to understand that they are responsible for their health. And the best way that you can be responsible for your health is by drinking, hydrating uh, water, uh, eating a well-balanced meal at all times, strengthening your body and getting sleep. There are four simple basic tenets that you can do, or we call them portfolio of health, here at the Health Institute that you should be doing on a daily basis.